A very good morning. Welcome to our Bird Notes. This morning, we start with a familiar word game. Are you ready? Which word in the following list does not belong? Sneedle, Wombus, Oozle, Lorax, and Wocket. Four of these words were invented by Theodore Geisel, who wrote inspired children's books under the name Dr. Seuss. The word not attributed to him is oozel, spelled O-U-Z-E-L, and sometimes O-U-S-E-L. This word goes back to Old English, and it refers to a bird, or actually more than one. I've been trying to work out how this ancient word eventually came to refer to a bird of the Western American mountains. Here goes. Sometime before the 12th century, the word oozel was applied to two species of dark thrushes in Europe, one still called the ring oozel, the other the common European blackbird. As an aside, the European blackbird is black with a yellow bill and is very similar to our robin in size and behavior. Paint an American robin black and you could pass it off as a European blackbird. In A Midsummer Night's Dream, Bottom sings of this bird as so black of hue with orange tawny bill. Now, somewhere along the line, the name oozel was transferred to another species of bird, smaller than but superficially marked like the ring oozel. It's a curious seven-inch bird that makes its living by walking in streams to catch insects and other small animals. This bird is also called the water oozel and the dipper. It breeds throughout Europe. There is also a similar species in this country, and the names Dipper and Oozel are used for this little bird, too. And so we come to our bird of the morning, the Dipper. The Dipper is the only truly aquatic songbird, a drab, dark bundle of feathers some seven or eight inches long, with a short tail. It spends its life near and in mountain streams of western North America literally in the streams, in the water, for this bird walks and flies under the surface of the fast-rushing streams, seeking for food. It also wades in the water, and it swims sometimes rather poorly, for its feet are not webbed. But the walking on the stream bed under the rushing water is what this bird is known for. It's a wonderful and very curious adaptation. The name Dipper comes from the habit of bobbing up and down while perched on the side of a stream which brings us back to names. Naturalist John Muir, writing in 1894, calls this bird the oozel. Muir's writing, by the way, is typically romantic in a very 19th century flowery way. Here is an excerpt. The oozel is a singularly joyous and lovable little fellow. He is the mountain stream's own darling, the hummingbird of blooming waters, loving rocky ripple slopes and sheets of foam as a bee loves flowers. Find a fall, a cascade, or a rushing rapid, and you will surely find its complimentary oozel. The words of John Muir from the mountains of California. Now, somewhere over the last century since Muir wrote that, the lovely word oozel has fallen by the wayside. It is rarely mentioned in bird books nowadays, except in the index where it says, See Dipper. In David Sibley's guide, the word oozel is not to be found at all in the four pages devoted to the dipper. What I'd like to advocate this morning is the resurrection of the word oozel for this bird. A little bird of such unusual habits really ought to have an unusual name.